Hello my wandering friends, hope you're having an amazing day. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Emmy and I record videos on my Animal Crossing adventures. So today I will be starting a brand new series on my channel. Long story short, I originally wanted to do a separate Let's Play on a brand new island here on YouTube, but I realized that that is very time consuming and I kind of want to focus all my attention on one town. So I'm going to be introducing you to my original town that I started when the game first came out, which is Sunnydew. And I love it. I love my island and I love how it's looking so far. And I kind of just wanted to record my process for myself, but also for anybody who is interested in watching. And I'll be doing a lot of different videos here. I'm kind of very motivated. I can do like uh, tips and tricks and just, you know, landscaping ideas. I'm not the best, but I feel like I like how everything is turning out. So I feel like if you guys have any questions, I can also help you out. Ooh, I see a balloon. Hold on. Pause everything because I really am trying to get really cute furniture and I'm not having the worst, the best luck. So hopefully I get something. Oh, wait, <laughs> a conversation. Sorry, I'm really nosy, so the intro is a mess, but it's okay. Uh, whoa, Panchetti, you smell pr real pretty. Thank you, I've been unsure if this new fragrance is flattering. It's called, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> You've heard of it. Nope, hey, you should try smelling me too. Are you trying out a cologne as well? Let's see, sniff. I detect notes of sniff. Ew, what is that? <laughs> Old spaghetti sauce. <laughs> I'm not wearing cologne. I just want it to be smelled. Thanks, Franchetti. <laughs> I see. Well, that scent is very you. Bones is the cutest. He's my favorite for sure. And he will always be my favorite. He's such a little baby. Um... Diva actually made him cry the other day, and now Diva needs to leave. She's been very nice to me, but to my villagers, she's very sassy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, today I'm just going to be giving you a tour of my island and how I have it laid out so far. So yeah, if you're interested in that, then keep on watching, and without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so my airport as you can already tell it's orange and I really don't mind it at all I think it goes very well with my town fruit which is peaches um, peaches is my first choice every time I start a Animal Crossing game they're just my favorite fruit in the game I think they look very nice and my flag here I had something similar in New Leaf and I've been trying to find the QR code for it for so long now and I can't find it and this is the closest thing I found to it and I think it looks very nice uh, sunset in the game is definitely one of my favorite times so that's you know gonna have to do for now and when you first come out of the airport this is what you see and I'm very proud of it I like uh, the yellow flowers in the game yellow is my favorite color so I really wanted to portray that on my island and my island colors are gonna be orange, mostly yellow with a uh, white and a few hints of red. Maybe I'll add a few different colored flowers in certain areas, but for the most part, I really want these to be the main colors. But yeah, if you turn to the left, you see this shell arch that Ruby recommended to me when she was moving in. So I think uh, the second time I invited her, she recommended the shell arch and she recommended a lot of the uh, shell furniture, which is really nice because it's really pretty and it fits so well. And then I have a second entrance here and I'm gonna line some of this with more flowers. Here I'm missing a tree, but I need to eat lots of coconuts. I've been eating lots of coconuts lately because I've been obviously like rearranging all my trees and stuff. So I need more coconut trees because I go through the coconuts so fast. Uh, that's a regular balloon, not interested. Anyway, if you come off to the left some more, we have the campsite, which I'm gonna 
decorate with uh, lots of pine trees and just like regular trees. Uh, so that's a work in progress. I could order like the giant campsite sign from the Nook Stop Terminal, but I think that one's a little too big and I just wanted a little tiny one. So I still have to uh, redesign this sign to make it like a camp sign. But yeah, I really like that. And if you keep going, here we have like vending machine, soda machine, candy dispenser and then this was a gift it's a cherry uh, music player and it's playing bubblegum kk because uh, you know why not <laughs> i have a lot of music players around my town and this area here is not going to stay the same nook uh nook shop is moving and so is the able sisters and i'm turning this whole area here into an amusement park and then just a regular park. I really like the teacups. I wish I had the pastel ones though, but they're really cute. I wish, you know, they were functional and you can sit on it while it's on, but... Uh, here... Ooh, another conversation! Everybody is so chatty today. It seems more and more people are reading books on their phones these days. But honestly, I still prefer reading books on paper. I know how you feel, Sui. These days, folks are always sending messages on their phones, but I still prefer sending letters. I love putting pen to paper as I take the time to write a thoughtful note to a friend. It's a lovely way to connect. Oh yes, exactly. There's nothing like reading a great book and passing it on to your friend neighbor. Then once you're done, you can talk to them all about the unique characters and surprising plot twists. Well, what an eye-opening conversation this has been, Peaches. Little did I know we had so much in common. We really must chat more often. Aww, that's so cute. I love, I love Peaches so much. I kind of invited her on a whim. Like, when the, when I first started playing the game, I saw her on an island. I think she was the first villager I saw on an island and I just invited her and I really didn't know what her character was but she's really sweet. She's always so nice to everybody. Uh, uh, she was saying hi to Bones I think is behind here. Yeah. I think Bones ignored her. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyway. So here coming into the plaza. Here I have a little park and Hornsby loves to hang out here. I always see him sitting here and I always take lots of pictures. And then I have a little bench. But I really love the I really love the entrance to my island. I think I I like how I decorated. Oh, there's Diva. So, oh. <laughs> Glad I caught you. I got a diner sofa that I didn't really need. This isn't weird, is it? I mean, you could pawn it off on someone else. I just thought you could use it. Huh? Yeah, she's always giving me gifts. One day she, no lie, gave me like 20 gifts in a day. Uh, granted, they were like weird gifts. Like it was like a sporty shirt or something like that. Nothing I would want, but she's really nice to me. Just, um, I don't like that she made bones cry. But that area where she was is my peach orchard. And I wanted to have peaches as the first fruit you see, just to know that, you know, I have peaches. I have my lighthouse here, which is moving to the other side. So I'm, I need to clear that side off first, and you'll see a lot of junk everywhere. Uh, I ran out of storage in my house, and I'm too poor to afford an upgrade. I think I need to pay 500,000 bells. I don't have that. I don't even have a, uh, 100,000 in my account right now, because I keep moving buildings around. So... I have uh, been putting stuff out and it gave me an idea to do a little flea market so I'm definitely doing a flea market uh, to kind of disguise the fact that I don't have room in my house to put all my stuff in so I'm gonna turn one of the areas by like the Able Sisters where I'm gonna put the Able Sisters into a flea market as well I thought that was a really neat idea um, and then here I have like a little farmers market slash uh, flower shop, I guess. Uh, this area is definitely not done. I'm still working on it. Uh, and then this is stuff I've gotten from the balloons that 
I just kind of displayed here. Let's see what- Oh, right. I think I popped- Oh, I needed a fridge. Not really fond of the blue color. Or is it purple? I think it's purple, but I do need a fridge, so that's really nice. And then let's see what Diva gave us. Oh, that's so cute! Oops. I didn't mean to do that. That's really cute. Oh, that's so cute. I really needed a sofa, so I really like that she gave that to us. Um, anyway, <laughs> I keep getting distracted. This is supposed to be like a town tour thing, but hopefully I can hurry up through it before they keep stopping me to talk and stuff. But yeah, this is my orchard. Here I have, I think this is cherries. Yeah, that's cherries. This is pears. I think this is oranges, and then we have apples. So that's my little orchard, and... Like I said, I'm making a little like farmer's market here, which I thought was a really cute idea. Ignore all the random stuff. But if you go through the Thrilled Less Traveled, I can show you here. Up here, I I don't know if I'm gonna build an actual like incline leading up to here. It's just gonna be like ladder accessible only, but I would like to see my villagers hang around here. I have a little picnic area where I put all of the cherry blossom stuff. I think it came out really nice, and this is probably one of my favorite areas in my town right now. I think it's really cute for taking pictures. Like, I really love this so much, so I'm really proud of that area. And yeah, so let's go back out onto the main road, and then I can show you the neighborhood that's on the bottom like level of the islands. I have my house and then I have Bones and Rudy's house. So this is, I'm gonna start decorating because I have a lot of eggs. I kind of just hoarded around my house, but I'm gonna start decorating for Easter since the villagers love it so much because they talk about it like nonstop. If you go to this side, I put another of the little like, uh, what is this called? Like a picnic set? And then this is the turtle I'm keeping as a pet. I really like the turtles. I like how they like <laughs> yell at you or like screech at you. So I'm keeping that one as a pet. This is Rudy's house. I gave him like a little back backyard fishing spot. And up there, that's actually Ruby's house. So I have Ruby and then I have Rudy. And I thought that was really cute. Let's go say hi to... Rudy. I was gonna say Ruby. <laughs> but Ru Rudy is one of my original villagers, so I started off with Rudy and Diva, and I love Rudy so much. He's the best. What's up, Mush? You seem to really like my place. So this is weird. I was doing my morning boulder li- oh, right, the eggs. Yeah, I kind of- I have to keep rem uh, remembering to not talk to them because all they really want to talk about is the bunny day event and they just keep telling you the same thing and I just want to have regular conversations again. But yeah, that's Rudy and he is definitely my second favorite. I He definitely would be my first favorite if I didn't scan in Bones, but Bones is just the sweetest. I think they changed his personality a little bit, like he's still a lazy villager, but I don't know, he just seems different than he did in New Leaf. But this is Bone's house, I got him a little tricycle, and then I'm still decorating his place. I put some flowers so I can lay down later on. Oh, this is my like beach area, or like this little area's beach area. Look at all the cute like uh, shell stuff. I love this table and this bed is so cute. Then Rudy gave me a sandcastle, so I put it out there. More flowers, I need to organize. But this is my house. Um, I wish I had one extra room so the house was like even, because right now it looks a little bit off-sided. <laughs> looks weird. But this is my yard. I have this like little outdoor fountain thing where I do my laundry. And then I hang my laundry right there. I have a little gnome. I really like my yard. And I was gonna originally live up in the mountains, but I really like the idea of living next to the beach. So I kind of just made a little community. Oh, I thought I didn't get one today, but I guess I did. I don't think I'm gonna find any star fragments I had 
Celeste visit yesterday, but I didn't really play at night. I actually went to bed early for once. Which never happens. I go to bed at like 2 or 3 in the morning because I'm always like running around my islands. But I really want to start fixing my sleeping schedule so I can be more productive. But yeah, that's basically it for this area. Let's go back to the main road and then I can show you my zen garden and my museum and kind of that area and let you guys know what I'm gonna be doing over here. So basically over here, I'm going to be putting Nooks and the Able Sisters. So I'm going to be moving the shops here and this is where I'm going to put like the flea market idea. But basically this is going to be a bridge. And then here is the museum. I just finished this area. I just need to add bridges and stuff. But I think it looks really nice. And on the side of the museum, like up on the cliff over there, I'm going to put two fossils kind of symmetrical. I feel like that would be really cute. But I'm gonna put stairs here and stairs here. That's the only way I really want the stairs because if you put a stairs here, the opening of the museum is actually three grids wide instead of two. So it, it's not centered unless you do, do it that way. Here's Diva. She, I think I'm gonna move her today so I can work on this area a little bit. Um, <laughs> here's just random Easter stuff. I mean bunny day stuff. I just don't know where else to put it right now. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna be the area with the shops and stuff. Little like seating area. This is Audie's house. She's moving too. She's always working out, but I love her so much. I want to decorate the outside of her house with pink roses just because of the Animal Crossing Grandma Audie. She, uh, she said in one of the recent videos that pink roses are her favorite so I thought that'd be really cute um, here nothing to see just river look here's Murphy he is easily becoming one of my favorites as well I learned to love him a lot um, I had put down a plot for Ruby thinking that it was only gonna take no for bones I thought it was only gonna take one day for the amiibos to move in like it did in New Leaf but it actually takes three days, so when I put a plot down the next day, Murphy moved in, and then I was like, ugh. But now he's so cute. He sometimes wears a little dotted raincoat. Ever heard of that old reggae tune about how you can get- oh. <laughs> I mean, at least this is different dialogue. I'd never heard him say that before, though. But he's really cute. He's always complaining his back hurts. But, uh... Back to the town tour. Here, I didn't want to make like a seeable path. I kind of wanted to be like a hidden path into my zen garden. Ah, oh, he's looking at the cherry blossom. Sorry. And here is my zen garden, which I'm still working on. I want to put stepping stones in here, and I just want to make it a little bit more cluttered and cozy. I need to finish the little fence. I just ran out of fencing. And this is could be this could be like a cute little fishing spot as well. I really like how it's coming along. I like it a lot. It's gonna be hard to shape those trees though, because I can't get here. Because this takes a lot of space. But there's that. Up here, um, this is I guess I could show you. There's not much. So far I've been using the little thing to get here, so I don't have to break out my ladder every time. But to get up here, I do need a ladder until I can put up an incline. Here I just have mostly empty spot, but I put a little stone table with a little puzzle overlooking the ocean. This is a really nice view when it's sunset. Like, it just looks so pretty because you can see all the colors and stuff. But not much up there. Uh, behind here, I kind of hit the entrance to my private beach. I don't know what to put here because it's such a small spot. Uh, I might just put like a random chair. Uh, I'm still looking for ideas for that, but I wanted it hidden. It's my private beach. Unless the villagers can get there, I haven't seen anybody get there. I don't think they can without an incline. But here is Hornsby's house. I think he's home. Yeah, he's home because the window's open. And then I'm gonna move Diva, I think, right next to him. This area is becoming 
slowly crowded, but um, yeah, this is like, you know, this is a Zen garden, and then if you keep walking, then it goes into the villager area. Here's Ruby. She's so cute. I've never had her, and I really wanted her, because she's just adorable. I think her red eyes are cute. They're like rubies. <laughs> But if you go here is the entrance, obviously, to the villagers. I'm going to move Audie here. She's going to live right next to Peaches, and I hope she fits. I'm, I tried to put, like, one square in between the houses, and I'm pretty sure it should fit, but I could, if it doesn't, then I could just give uh, Peaches a yard. But I think it will fit. It'll just be a little bit crowded. Here is Hans. He's not my favorite, uh, at, not gonna lie, he's just not, me and him just, no, you know? I try, I don't hit him with my net or anything. I don't like when people hit their villagers with nets, I don't know why. I just ignore him, or sometimes I talk to him. Here's Peaches, so cute. She's so sweet, and honestly I really recommend her as a villager, she's really sweet. Oh, and then that's Murphy's house. So I have to decorate their yard still. That's something I'm gonna work on. Here is Panchetti's house. And I think I'm gonna make this into an outdoor seating spot for everybody in this little neighborhood. Or I can move somebody here, but it'll just be way too crowded. Uh, here I'm gonna put little incline or staircases so they can easily access the beach. Here is the waterfall that kind of connects to Ruby's house. And then this is Ruby's house. She's so cute. And her house is really nice too. And then that's the like secret cherry blossom picnic area. I need to put more trees to hide it more. But I think that's pretty much it. I think I showed you guys the whole island. And there's still lots to do, so... Ooh, yay, I got one star fragment. I didn't, like I said, wish on too many stars. I think I did like two or three, but I didn't think I would get any, but I guess I did. So that's really nice. But I can't wait to keep adding to this island, and I just want to record the process of me fixing it up and just seeing all the memories I make with these cute little villagers. Honestly, I really don't have any complaints about the villagers. Sometimes Steve is mean to my other villagers, but she's really nice to me and she's always giving me gifts. The only one I really would want to get rid of is Hans. I just really don't like him. He's just not for me. But if you like Hans, then you know. I'm not shaming anybody, it's just not for me. But yeah, I hope you guys in uh, enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next one. Bye bye!